Hello, I just finished um, making that first prototype of a snake game in here where you can control it with a keyboard, you can like run into yourself, whatever, and I was really unsatisfied with it because the code kind of sucks, and so I want to make a second video in which I attempt to clean up this code to the best of my ability, and one of the things I realized in the first video was how difficult it is to think and narrate and do all of this at the same time, so I'm not making any guarantees, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So let's check out this code again. Um, how did it work? So I had, I had this container div and an attached style sheet, which styled the container to have a black border and a certain size, and a snake, which actually refers to one of those single black pixels on the screen, which has a, a width and a height and a background color of black. I have some constants for the size. I've got this this um, function, this constructor for making an individual snake piece and all the stuff associated with it. And then um, when the page finishes loading, I initialize all the snake and all of its pieces here. And uh, I begin a timer, which just updates the head on every keyframe. And then whenever you press a key, it red <laughs> redirects the snake into the direction that you just pressed on the, on the thing. Um, so I've had a few ideas already of how I should clean up this code, and I'm just going to do whatever comes to mind as I'm skimming through it. And one thing that I notice here that I don't like is that there's pixel size and board width. And I use this for the board width and the height, so I'm just going to go ahead and change all of these to just say board size instead. So board size is 60, and I'm just going to assume a square board. I'm going to refresh that does seem to, it probably still works. Um, I guess one of the big things that I didn't like was this uh, this parent being passed in when it turned out that I actually wanted to talk to the children. And I also realized they didn't like the name children. So what I'm going to do is a much bigger effect this time. I'm going to say tail. Uh, I'm not going to have any tail at the moment. And then here, instead of saying children at for each, I'm going to say if tail. Um, move the tail to where I was. So what I'm doing here is, is hopefully getting rid of the I, I the, 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 the words children and parent sort of came from thinking of uh, I don't know, trees. Yeah, I guess trees where um, you'd have a bunch of children and uh, one parent, but in the snake game none of the snake pieces care who their parent is, at least in the way I've currently written it, and there's never going to be more than one child, or at least even if there were, that would be um, you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at the screen, so I'm just not going to have that. Uh, so instead of all this, what I'm thinking is I'm going to have a method on each snake piece for creating a new item for its tail. Um, I'm not sure what should it be called extend? Uh, what I'm thinking is that instead of creating a second piece and saying, attach yourself to this, um, you're going to say, take the thing you want to attach to and say, make yourself longer. Um, and this is where I'd say, if there's a, let's see, old tail is equal to current is the current tail, I'm going to make a piece to come after myself, which is going to be as simple as this. And I need to hook up the old tail. So let's say I'm going to pass the old tail into here. And so instead of, does this make sense? I save the old tail. <laughs> I create a new tail and I give it what was the tail before. So I'm like in, inserting a new piece in between the old tail and myself. So now this should take a tail. Um, that's a, I need to fix this, this constructor. Um, Let's just call it underscore tail for now. So tail oops, is equal to underscore tail. So have I gotten rid of all the references to children? Yes. I've gotten rid of the references to parents? Yes. So now I shouldn't create this thing like this. I should say, well, I only ever cared about, oh, this is getting great. Uh, I only ever cared about the head anyway, so I'll just keep the head pointer. And then 80 times I'll say head dot extend. Ah, uh, that's so much better. All right, and so now when I call extend, um, this will be undefined. Um, tail is going to be a new piece whose tail, yes, whose tail is going to be what my tail was before. And then, uh, let's see, this gets saved off. And then it, where I was, 
So in move, if I have a tail, I'll first move my tail to where I was and then update the X and Y and render. So hopefully that shouldn't have broken anything. And I should still have a finite blunt snake. Okay, good. All right, that's much better. I feel a lot better about that. Um, let's see. What else here needs to be fixed? Okay, I think I don't like all these places where I'm having to write an underscore. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of these methods out into a prototype. Um, I'd started to write it like this originally, and I cited against it for no gosh darn good reason. But let's just go back to that. which means that all these places where I use local variables, I now need to save this. This to x, y. Let's actually make these local variables um, so that I can just say move at the end and there's going to be one update to this.x and this.y. So x and y are equal to x plus and y plus. I'll modify x and y and then I'll say this.move x and y and I think this render call is also redundant. Yes, it is. So I'll calculate all the updates, and then I'll say move. And then inside of move, I will update the tail, the old x and y. And this needs to be this.tail now. Oh, and this needs to be this.x and this.y. And these can have same names. move this.x, this.y, this.render, and then render will needs to use this.x, this.y, extend is going to require this and this. All right, that also shouldn't have broke, oh, it should have broken stuff. Um, whenever I say, whenever I get a snake piece, I need to use the new keyword now. Okay, now, no, all right, container not found. I forgot about that. So I need to save container off. Container. I'll probably also need to save this as well. This.snake, okay. Ah, uh, VX. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, so those all need to be um, on this as well. I'll probably change the formatting of this later. But it's okay for now. VX was used somewhere else. Alright. That's probably all of them. Safest way to refactor. 35, this.vx was not. That's no longer an exception, is it? Okay, yeah, but for some reason I've lost the ability to move. Oh, that's probably creating global variables now inside of direct. And yes, it is. Let's get rid of those stupid underscores. Okay, great. Um, but it looks like extend isn't working because I'm calling extend 80 times and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So let's look at extend. This.tail, I update this.tail to be new snake piece. This container and old tail. Oh, this I'm, not, I'm using the new values so all the pieces are just stacking on top of one another. Oh, great. Well, that was pretty successful. Okay. So I've got a slightly better looking um, snake piece class here. What still doesn't feel right about this? Um, I don't really like this container moving around, um, but let's keep that for now. Oh, this variable can now be have a same name. Direct. I need a much better name for direct. What about set direction? Let's see how that feels. I 
It's okay. <laughs> That's all about all I can say about that. It's okay. Um, updating every 50 milliseconds. Okay. Oh, I guess um, another thing that's kind of sucky is that um, the syntax here is the HTML file is feeling a little empty. I'm looking for show page source. I'm still not used to Safari. I feel like this is a dumb looking source viewer. Um, let's see. So what's in here? I've got oh, a bunch of crap. Um, let's see. Doc type HTML head. Is this right? Snake game. Why did I have the head? Oh, it, yeah. The head tag was because of the open ID stuff. I don't actually need that. Um, div ID container. Let's put the style up above the stuff in the body. Do I need a style type? I guess not, no. Style, divide container, include jQuery, and then include the script. And let's just move the script off to a, a separate file. Let's actually make a JavaScript directory while, while we're at it. Snake.js. Um, I put more than I'm actually going to keep in there. Um, but I just want to make sure this still works. Cool. And then I want to move those other JavaScript files into there. All right. And what I'm actually going to, I like to have the driver part of the script inside the HTML file itself. So the driver here is um, everything that makes the rest of the stuff go. So I'll put declarations in separate files, but I like to open a page and then see what, what code kicks everything off. Um, I don't like that ha being hidden. So here, I let's. How much of this should stay here? Um, I should create the snake. Um, update the snake, and then listen for key presses. This all seems reasonable. Um, I uh, another thing I like to have is like a loading um, message, just so that you can tell that the page is doing something from the, the very beginning. So while it's loading, that's going to be visible. And then I'll just say loading.hide as soon as the JavaScript start stuff begins. So you probably won't be able to see that because it'll happen too fast. But cool. This is working great. Um, this code is looking less dumb. Um, that. Oh, I forgot to save that file. I think I'm going to move all those style sheets into a separate file as well, just because, just because. Let's make a new directory, CSS. Oh yeah, and this should be snake piece since uh, those things are snake pieces now and not entire snakes. Uh, so what class is equal to snake should be snake piece. Awesome. All right, I think that's actually going to be about it. Uh, this, I think this passes my <laughs> my personal style test. Although, is this control flow reasonable right now? I've got a render, render just does render, extend just does extend, move moves the tail and updates current position and then renders. Maybe move probably shouldn't also render. Um, but I think that's okay. Update just updates. I'm gonna I like I feel like the set direction is in a weird order relative to everything else. And update and render are related enough that I think I'm gonna put one right after the other. Update because those are the two functions I'd be expecting in, in, for, in a game object class. Uh, set direction, move. Uh, move isn't something, isn't like, a, it's not public. So I feel weird having it right next to all of these public. Well, render technically isn't public either, just because it's meant to be called by move and by nothing else. Let's actually give those underscores for now. No, 
Yeah. 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 How do I feel about this? I don't know how I feel about this. And extend is public. Move is not public. Set direction is public. Eh, but now I've got this weird order for all the public and private methods. <laughs> Let's try putting all the private ones first. This is unfortunately the kind of stuff I actually agonize about a lot when I'm writing code. I should probably make render a public method just because that's how these things work, but no, where do I call render actually? Do I only call it in move? How about just in move? Let's put this back in move with the rest of the code here. So move will just, I mean, this is how you expect stuff in HTML land to work anyway, is that once you move it, it's moved. Uh, I don't like having single line if statements like that. All right, update the tail with old the old position. Set the new position. Oh, that'd actually be kind of interesting to look at if I could step through each of the pixels uh, render function because I feel what's this what's gonna happen it's gonna like bunch up and then spread back out uh, actually it wouldn't look too interesting when you because all the pixels are black and indistinguishable uh, update set direction extend those are all public and meant to be used this deserves explanation um, snake longer by one unit by adding a piece just after this one. I wonder if, how does it work in snake? Would it propagate all the way to the end? We have, you'd stack the new piece on the, at the very end, or I guess it doesn't matter, especially in this where all the pieces are indistinguishable. Uh, that doesn't matter. Set direction ought to just take up, down, left, right, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, although it would be kind of interesting to see like, I don't know, 1.5. <laughs> Why not? Cool. So it is still on a grid, uh, which I could totally mess up by having these things not equal. <laughs> All right. Anyway, those should go back to one. Um, that should. I, I want like an enum type of thing going on there, but that's fine. Um, update makes sense. Cool. I'm actually pretty happy with this code now. I think I'm done. It's got a title. It's got a loading message. I'm going to leave it here. All right. Thanks.